Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you how to make custom items using script. So, for this example, I have a Devil's Sword of Sharpness 10 and Fire Aspect 10 with a neat little lore, and you probably want these on your server since they're pretty cool. So, today I'll show you how to make those. So, for this, you're going to be needing script and SKB. These are both mandatory to work, and once you downloaded them on your server, Let's get started. Once you're done with that, you should be able to see a new folder appeared in your plugins folder. So you're going to want to click on it, and then you can go ahead and click on the scripts folder inside of that folder. Once you're here, you can create a new document. Now, this can be named whatever you want, so I'll just rename it as items.sk. So this, this is the extension of the file, it has to be .sk, otherwise script will not recognize it. So once you're done, you can open the file. Once you open the file, we can finally start coding. So what we want to do, essentially, is we want to give a variable to the player. And what's going to be in that variable is the item that we are going to register. So on load, this event is going to fire upon reloading the script and starting the server. You can set item devil's sword to a netherite sword of sharpness 10, knockback 5, and fire aspect 10. So these are the enchantment of the netherite sword. Now we want to name it. So instead of having the simple netherite sword name, we're going to give it a cool name. So named devil's sword. And then we want to add a lore to it. So it's the little text I showed you. So with lore, and then this is going to be the little text that's underneath your item. So for me, I'm just going to put a lore since I don't want to type an entire paragraph. Basically, what we've done is we registered a variable item and this to a netherite sword of these enchantments with the name here and the lore here. So then we want to get the item. So we're going to create a command slash item. We're going to want to put text, the permission, because we do not want other players to use this command. And then we can give item argument one to player. So upon, let's say you run the command slash item devil's sword it's going to give you this, since this is going to be the variable that's set here. Once you're done with all your coding, you can save the file and go back on your server. Once you're back on your server, you can type the command sk reload and then the name of your file. So for me, it's going to be items.sk. And upon executing the command item and then the name of your item, so for me, devil sword, you can see that we received the devil sword. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.